Hello and welcome to Learning in Technology. My name is Frank and I'm glad that you're here. In this video, I want to take a look at the Microsoft Whiteboard and how I can create a template of sorts that I can then use in order to break my students into breakout rooms in Teams and have them collaborate on a whiteboard that I've pre-populated. I'm going to present you with a fictitious trip that we're taking. We're going to plan a hike. And what I want to do is I want to break my students into groups and I want them to each collaborate on a map and some notes. And then I want to come back and use those as part of our overall class discussion. It requires a little bit of trickery and I'll show you how that all works in this video. If you like this video, hit the like button and as always, if you want tips and tricks and all sorts of different ways to use technology for learning and productivity and teaching, then go ahead and subscribe. Let's have a look at how I can use Microsoft whiteboards, create templates of my own and use them in breakout rooms in Teams. That's a lot, but it's cool. Here I am in my whiteboard environment and I'm going to create a new whiteboard. So let's say I'm in a scenario where I want to utilize a template. So I've already done a video on the new features here, but you can see that there's this new preview feature to use templates. And when I click there, we get these beautiful tiles and all these different templates that I can use to start a really cool meeting. And these things are useful. I mean, these templates are useful as I showed in the other video. But so for example, I want students to do a SWOT analysis, but you'll notice nowhere on this is there ability for me to go in and create my own template. So let's say I create a nice whiteboard and I'll just do a very simple one for now. I'll just say I have a whiteboard that has a couple of notes in it and I wanna go in and save this as a template. So you'll notice that there's no ability here to save as a template. Let me go and make a little bit of a nicer whiteboard here and then show you how I can trick the system so that I can have my own templates. Then I'll show you how I can take that template and I can put that into breakout rooms in Teams so that students can work on it together or they can work on it into as small groups. Let's have a look. I'm just going to pause the video while I create a nicer template here. So let's say that I'm, I decided as a group we're going to plan a trip uh, to the North Coast Trail. We're going to go for a hike. And what I want to do is I'm going to break our class into six hiking teams. Six people in each team. We're going to go into, let's say I have 24 students. I want to break them into groups of six. Each group of six is going to act as a hiking cohort. And uh, we're all going to go on this great hike together. Now, we will only do this once we are away from this pandemic. I'm filming this video during 2020, so uh, you'll bear with me if, uh, if you're thinking, don't do that, uh, we, it's okay. We're, we're, we're out of the pandemic when I'm doing this trip. So we're gonna go in here. And uh, so I have this great sort of template that I've created. I got a little map. I want the students to brainstorm on the camping supplies they're having, the food they're gonna take on the trip. They can add other elements as they go through so they can go in and they'll be able to write on here as they see fit. But uh, for now, what I wanna do is I just wanna give them this as their starting point. So this is, I want every student and every group to have the, the same sort of whiteboard here to start with. And they of course can scroll around, they can do all sorts of things. But the problem is if I go back right now, you'll see I have this whiteboard here. What I'm going to do is hit the ellipse and I'm gonna give this a name. I'm gonna call this uh, North, North Coast Trail Template. And this is gonna be one of my templates. And one of the things I often do with any type of template is I might put a dash in front of it. And that way, if I'm ever doing any sorting, they'll appear at the top of the list of, of objects. So I'll go done. In this case here, I have everything sorted by uh, the date of creation, but I have this template here. And if I go in, unfortunately, I cannot save this as a template. What I need to do instead is I'm going to go and hit Control A. And that selects absolutely everything in this whiteboard. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit control C to copy it. And then what I'm going to do is go back, create a new whiteboard and hit control V to paste it. So I hit control A to select everything, control C to copy everything, and then control V to paste it on a new whiteboard. Now I have my template whiteboard and I have this new whiteboard and just move it right to the middle there. And underneath this whiteboard, what I can do is go in and make this, I could say this North Coast Trail Group A. Now, because I've already copied it here, 
if I create a new whiteboard, I don't have to go through, I can just go control V and paste that into the new whiteboard here. So I've got this in the new whiteboard. Again, again students can write on, oh, grab a pen here. Students can write on here. They can start modifying it. Notice here, I'll draw a triangle on here. So here, let's say students are saying, okay, we're going to, you know, the first night we're going to go here, second night we're going to go, whatever they're going to do. They can draw all over this whiteboard. They can make annotations. And if I go back, that doesn't affect my group A whiteboard. You'll see that that's not affected. And if I go back to my template, of course, it's not affected either. So that way I can create this one template and I can use that again and again in different classes or for different brainstorming sessions and make multiple copies for different teams. I'll call this one North Coast Trail Group, oh, group B. So I'm not going to create six of them, but you get the idea. And so now I've got this nice template and I can make copies. It's a little bit of a workaround, but it is something useful. Now, what I can also do is now that I've created that in the group A1, so let's go back to the group A1. Again, I can just center it so you can sort of move things around and move objects around. But what I can now do is go into the menu selection and I can post this to Teams. Now, the reason we're going to go to the North Coast Trail is we're going to do some stargazing in a, in a non-light polluted environment. I'm really stretching here, but I'm going to put this into breakout room number one. So now I've posted that whiteboard into breakout room number one. And then what I can do is I can go into my group B, open up that whiteboard, and I can go in and I will post that to Teams, again for my astronomy class, into breakout room number two. So now I have that in breakout room number two. And now if I go into Teams and I go into my astronomy class, you'll notice that breakout room has a whiteboard link and breakout room two has a whiteboard link. Notice that this one here is a shared whiteboard. I hit the link and it's going to open up the whiteboard. They can go in here again. They can move it around. They can add a note and they can say, oh, you know what we're going to put here is we better have some astronomy supplies. Now, just a word of advice, I have hiked this trail. This is actually my route map. Please do not take a large telescope on the North Coast Trail. You will not be happy. It's, it's not a great, it's a very rough trail. So you want to make sure that you're, you know, binoculars. Bring some binoculars, even that's heavy. Anyway, so, but I've got that into group, uh, into that room. And now if I go here, you'll notice in group two, if I go to my link here, it's a whole different whiteboard. Notice it doesn't have that note that I just posted in there. Right, so it doesn't have that note. So in this one here, maybe the group says, okay, we're going to bring, we're group B, and we have to bring um, GPS equipment. So they're gonna bring, let me go out here, go in here. They bring GPS equipment. So that way I have a different individual whiteboard based upon my own starting point. And you'll see all the, the triangles and the stuff that I put there. And each group is now working on their own whiteboard. And the cool part about this is because I, as an instructor, shared those whiteboards out. You can see that it's actually showing sharing here. And I can see everybody who's, I can then put students in those breakout rooms and have them work on the whiteboard. I can go back and look what I have. I have access to my template as well as the work that was done by both groups. And then I can actually go in and I can export that out and I can export that out to a PDF, for example, uh, or a PING image. And then what I can do is I'll put that on the desktop where everybody puts all their documents and I'll call this uh, group A plan. And now I'll save that on my desktop and I can go back to teams and underneath general, underneath the, uh, the files here, I can actually upload that file. So I'll just, and the easiest way to upload is just drag it over. And now I've got my group A plan that everybody was working on. And it's uh, not a whiteboard, it's now a diagram. And now people can go in and they can take a look at group A's plan and they can even start a conversation around it. So these are great ways to foster good collaboration with your class and to save the results of that collaboration. By the way, these are still active whiteboards. So when I'm done with this, what I may wish to do is to clean up once I've, I've done this is I can go up oh, here as I can go in here and you can actually go ahead and delete, right? So you can delete that 
whiteboard. So now that, and you're not really deleting the whiteboard. I'll show you that. What you're doing is deleting the link to the whiteboard. If I go back to the whiteboard, you'll notice my whiteboards are completely intact. So I hope that was useful for you and that you'll use this feature to really spark conversations amongst groups. It's a very handy way of making sure that you can create some sort of interest before the students are just faced with sort of a blank whiteboard. It's nice to sort of pre-populate it. Again, if you like the video, like. If you want to share with colleagues, that would be greatly appreciated. And uh, subscribe if you want to get more content like this. Thank you again for watching.